Hi, this is Thomas from Apex Game Tools. In this video, we're going to look at dynamic updates. Dynamic updates uh, enable you to create or destroy level geometry at runtime. Now, in this video, we have a unit and we have a small slope that the unit can move across. It has been set up with a patrol route, so it will start patrolling across this bridge in just a second. Now, I have created a small script that will allow me to dynamically remove the middle of the bridge and recreate it again. So in order to do dynamic updates, you actually need to do some scripting. Now, since this is simply an example showing you how uh, it looks, uh, we will not be going into how to actually do this. There will be a separate tutorial on this subject in the tutorials section of our website. Now, as you can see, we have our unit moving across the bridge, and if we just turn on accessibility mode so that we can see um, whether the unit can move, we can see that it can now move across the bridge, and we can also see it moving across the bridge. Now, I can then delete the middle of the bridge, and my unit will no longer be able to cross the bridge, so it, uh, instead it will just move alongside the bridge back and forth on its patrol. Now I can re-enable my bridge by rebuilding it and my unit will continue across the bridge instead. So this is basically how dynamic updates work. You can destroy or create static level geometry at runtime and have the grid update itself accordingly. And the Pathfinder will then take these things into, cons into consideration when it resolves paths. All of this is, of course, uh, load balanced, so it will not, even big uh, changes to the grid, will not adversely affect your frame rate.